Hello students, welcome to the, your English class. I am your English teacher Ragni Tiwari and uh, students today we are going to begin class 9th first poem The Road Not Taken written by a very renowned poet Robert Frost. Okay, so this well-known poem is about making choices and the choices that shapes us. Robert Frost is an American poet who writes simply but insightfully about common ordinary experiences. Okay, before starting this poem, let us come to know what this title, The Road Not Taken, signifies. What it says why the poet has chosen this name for this poem right so what in this poem the road here the road symbolizes our life right this word road poet here symbolizes it as our life the poet says that the path that we don't choose in our life is the road not taken Poet describes his feelings about the choice that he had left in the past. The path which we have chosen decides our future, our destination. The important message that the poet wants to give is that the choice that we make has an impact on our future and if we make a wrong choice, we regret it but cannot go back on it. So, we must be wise while making choices. This title signify this theme which I explained just to you. Right? So, students, let us begin this poem, Stanja Voice. So, here your first stanza. The, sorry, two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. First of all, let us come to know what are the word meanings here in this standard we should know. First is diverged. Note it down the meaning of diverged is separated and took a different directions separated and took a different direction yellow wood yellow wood here means it refers to a forest a forest with decomposing leaves okay and undergrowth undergrowth here it means dense growth of plants and bushes means the forest which means the forest right so in this first two lines the two roads diverged in yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood i looked down one as far as i could to where it went in the undergrowth the two roads diverged in a yellow wood the poet has come into the deep autumn wood where the poet has come into a deep jungle, right? Where two roads have diverged into two ways, like a fork. Immediately, the poet understands that as a traveler, traveling both the roads is impossible, right? As a traveler, he could not travel both the roads as he wanted to travel both but it is impossible so here two roads are meant to two ways of life two roads mean two ways of life here yellow wood yellow wood symbolizes the autumn forest the jungle the first line is metaphor student where two roads are impl implemented compared with the two ways of life Okay, that's why the poetic device metaphor has been used here. Why? Because the two roads here, it's, it compares to the two ways of life. That's why metaphor is here. There is a sense of antithesis as the poet 
first thought for traveling both the routes and then discarded the idea antithesis devices has been also used here because the poet here he regrets poet regrets that i'm sorry i could not travel both it means the poet want to travel both the roads so poetic device antithesis has been implied here why because earlier he wanted to travel but now he discarded the idea and he realized that he could not travel both the road correct and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth the poet in utter state of duality examines both the roads as he finds himself in dilemma here as a traveler he finds himself in dilemma about the choice of roads at first he looked down the first road he looked down the first road to the utmost to check whether it will be suitable or not okay then and the here and sorry and be and looked students you can see and 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 this word has been repeated consecutively consecutively that's why here poetic device anaphora has been used the poetic device anaphora has been used as the lines begins with the same words that these all lines following lines begins with the same words okay so here poet founds found that the first rose has had been has bent in the undergrowth undergrowth bushes or jungle okay the poet hears in regard to the choice of life consider the word undergrowth as unknown word okay so here the poet when when he decided that he would walk only one road he would he would choose only one to travel so he also aware that he this road could be the unknown world because nobody traveled there or somebody traveled but the poet was not knowing okay so students this is it for today's video we will continue this poem in our next video have a nice day